Hello, my name is Duncan. I'm a co-founder at MemberStack, and in this video, I'll show you how to create a gift a membership program or system using MemberStack, Make, and Webflow. So here you can see a UI where I just sent a gift to someone named Frank. Um, I can go to buy another gift where I'm able to enter in the recipient's information. I can then select the gift amount. Um, later in the video, I'll show you how to set up this last one. I only have these first two set up. So let's give them, let's buy somebody one month. Takes me to the Stripe checkout where I can pay. And now I am purchasing free access for Frank. So I'm going to go over to Frank's email and we're going to check out the email that he should receive. Okay, and here we go. We're in Frank's inbox. Hey Frank, great news. Duncan bought you one free month to business name. They say, hey Frank, here's your birthday gift. To redeem your gift, please create an account at giftmembership.webflow.io slash redeem and enter code this at checkout. Let's go ahead and actually click on that. Um, here's the redemption page. Join for free. Um, if Frank was the one going to redeem this, then he would be asked to create an account. But he'd then be able to apply the coupon. And you can see he's going to get 100% off for a month. This is going to work on any type of subscription. You can adjust the terms of the coupon. Um, but the key thing here is it, it does not work with one-time payments. So this only works for gifting a membership or a subscription. Okay, that is that. The uh, one other thing to show you is that me as um, the sender of the gift is also going to receive an email. Just com confirming that we sent your gift to email. They should receive it in the next few minutes. Thanks from the team. And all of this is being controlled by Make. What we're doing is we're watching in MemberStack for whenever a plan is purchased. And then if the plan ID is equal to the like gift product, if they're purchasing a gift, then we're making an API call in Stripe to create a new coupon. A, specifically a coupon code, which is unique, can be redeemed one time, and is what is going to be emailed to that customer. Uh, we'll go through this all in greater detail, and better yet, I'm going to actually just turn this into a blueprint, which you are able to download and then just drop in. So you're going to have all of this information pre-filled for you. All you'll have to do is map in the uh, price ID, and I'll show you how to do that. And then you have to link your Stripe account, which isn't too hard. There are document, there's uh, tutorials online about how to do that. Then here we send an email, which we're sending. This email goes to the recipient, and it just is formatted to include all of the um, information that you saw in the email. This will all be in the Make Blueprint for you. And then. This is the email that goes, this is the confirmation email, which goes to the person who actually purchased the gift. Hopefully that all makes sense. If you have any questions at any point, feel free to leave a comment in the video and uh, I'll be happy to explain. The next thing I want to show you is how these coupons are initially set up in Stripe so that we're able to generate coupon codes. The first thing is that you need to make sure you're using Stripe in test mode. Uh, or live mode, I guess, depending on where you want to do your testing. I decided to do my testing in test mode, which means I had to create my coupons here. And if I go to live mode, I ought to also create my coupons in live mode. And member stack, you only have to do like one place, but Stripe, you have to do both. And then, you know what, to show you this, let's actually just go ahead and create one. Here, inside a Webflow, I have this purchase page where... There is a data MS price add equals the price ID. So essentially, the customer is purchasing a plan in member stack. Here's my gift plan. Here are my three prices. And if we click in here, we'll see that, yeah, this is the price ID, which is used here inside of Webflow. So perfect. When a user clicks this, it's going to launch the Stripe checkout. Let me just go ahead and show you that. Um, so we'll click gift. 
and then this will launch the Stripe checkout. Now we need to create the coupon which is going to be purchased. So we'll go in here to Stripe and we'll click New. We're going to call this 12 free months. And the key here is that this coupon name is going to appear in the email which gets sent. So great news, Duncan or yeah, Duncan bought you coupon name. So great news, Duncan bought you 12 free months to business name. That's why I chose the name 12 free months there. The ID of the coupon needs to match the ID of the of the price in member stack. So I just copied this 12 months and I pasted it in here into the ID. We'll then enter our coupon details and we'll say for 12 months and we'll say use customer facing coupons and we don't have to um, edit any additional settings. So we'll create that coupon. There it is. Now over here in make, do, 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 do. because the price ID is equal to the coupon ID, we're now able to create uh, individual coupon codes just by using the price ID. So that's why we did that. So we'll save that. We'll click run once and we'll go in here and finish our purchase. If I'm thinking of this all correctly, when I do this, we shouldn't have any errors in make and I should get two new emails uh, which tell me that which tell Frank <laughs> that Duncan just bought him 12 free months so all looking good so far and here we go great news Duncan bought you 12 free months to business name and there's another new unique coupon code which can only be used once the last thing I need to show you is how everything is set up inside of Webflow and this is not too bad. Essentially, what you need to know is that only a logged in member should be able to purchase or gift a membership to somebody else. So you'll want to place this behind your members only area. From there, you're actually going to create a profile form. I'm going to click up here to the form element and we'll see data MS form equals profile. This has a redirect to my purchase page. So once they confirm the information here, they're gonna go over to the purchase page. And these are fields that get saved inside of Member Stack. If you want your make scenario to work sort of out of the box, I recommend using the same uh, custom field names. So we have recipient name, recipient email, and then gift message. Uh, this is not being used and then we're actually going to make the message required just to keep this nice and simple. If you don't make it required, you just have to add some additional formatting to your make scenarios, which I am not going to do right now. So you include their names, da da da. Once that is all, uh, once this is submitted, it's going to update the profile and member stack. And then we're going to be able to access this information when sending the gift. If in the future, the user wants to send a different gift to a different person, it's just going to update the profile and then send the new person a gift. Once that is submitted, it goes to the gift page where, like I showed you before, each of these is a purchase button with the price ID, the appropriate price ID, and that launches the Stripe checkout. And when they're done, it drops them onto this success page where we just show the recipient's name, recipient's email, just kind of double check that that's all accurate. And then the um, letting them know we sent them a confirmation email. Okie doke. I think that's everything. If I missed anything or you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I'm happy to help with this. And... I hope you have uh, a lot of luck with it. All right. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.